and sisters, when we examine the world today, we see violence and bloodshed. Everywhere you look, there is all these different ideologies in conflict, cutting people's heads off, blowing up buildings and shooting cartoonists. It's crazy. I mean, when I saw them Charlie Ed blow cartoons, I didn't get what all the fuss was about because they're in French or whatever. So I couldn't even understand them. It was only after I went on Google Translate that I realised how offended I was. Excuse me. <sighs> Delicious. Now, a lot of you guys might be asking yourself, how come Islam calls itself the religion of peace? Well, when we open up the Quran, the answer will become clear. See, it is written that if you worship more than one God, like the Hindus or whatever, WE'LL FUCKING KILL YOU! Kill the polytheists wherever you find them, and capture them and besiege them and sit and wait for them at every place of ambush. But if they should repent, establish prayer and give zakah, let them go on their way. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. For those of you who don't know, zakah is a compulsory income tax, the proceeds of which fund, amongst other things, Islamic warriors who fight against non-Muslims. If you worship no god at all, like atheists, we'll fucking kill you! I shall cast terror into the hearts of the infidels, strike off their heads, strike off the very tips of their fingers. If you're a Christian or a Jew, <sighs> that's absolutely fine, as long as you agree to pay a little uh, regular life insurance to the Islamic State. Otherwise, we'll Fucking kill you! Fight those who believe not in Allah, nor acknowledge the religion of truth, even if they are of the people of the book, until they pay the jizya with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. Yes, folks, jizya is a real word and is another compulsory tax payable to the Islamic State by non-Muslims. If you're a Muslim, and you leave the one true religion of peace, guess what? We'll fucking kill you! And from the Hadith this time, in the words of Muhammad, peace be upon him, if somebody, a Muslim, discards his religion, kill him. So, logically speaking, it is very easy to see how Thanks to the infinite wisdom and mercy of Allah, <laughs> there will eventually be literally no one left for us to fucking kill. And at last, there will be peace on earth. Oh, obviously, if you're gay, we'll fucking kill you. And again, from the Hadith, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, If you find anyone doing as Lot's people did, and we all know what they did, kill the one who does it, and the one to whom it is done. And then the Sunnis kill the Shias, and the Shias kill the Sunnis, and they both kill the Kurds, and they all kill each other till there's absolutely no one left. Peace. <clears throat> uh, that one about uh, killing the people a lot, that's why the Muslims of ISIS drop uh, gays off of buildings and stone them to death if they survive.